The following sequence shows the laying of a 300 mm diameter sewer in a residential area. A guided auger boring machine from Bortec with a novel steering technology called front steer is used. The sewer is to be installed 4 meters below ground level in a non-displaceable mudstone from a circular working shaft. Traffic is unaffected and the new line can easily pass beneath existing services. Damage to the roots of trees and brushes is avoided by the use of this method. After the machine is set up, the guidance system is installed. The theodolite with its electronic camera is mounted on a height adjustable support, independent of the machine. A monitor screen fixed onto the wall of the shaft allows the operator to view the target through the theodolite mounted camera during the guided operation. With the help of a steering and control panel, Showing the position of the front steer, the operator can perform steering movements. In the first step, the guided drilling is performed by excavating the soil with the front steer. Hollow augers transport the excavated soil to the working shaft. The camera on the theodolite can view the LED target on the cutting head through the hollow augers, and the crosshairs in the monitor screen indicate the correct alignment. The front steer is pushed out of the launch shaft through a flexible seal and into the soil. Steel casings are added and jacked into the ground. The excavated soil is transported by hollow augers to the working shaft. The excavated material that is conveyed out by the hollow augers falls into the muck skip in the working shaft. After the completion of each boring stroke, the muck skip is lifted out of the shaft and emptied before the next casing and auger are put in place. The operator can move the steering pipe of the front steer with the help of the operation panel to correct any deviation from the intended line or level. If any deviation from the intended alignment is visible on the monitor, the operator changes the position of the steering pipe to correct the deviation while the jacking procedure continues. The inclined position of the front steer creates a reactional force from the surrounding soil to achieve the steering correction. If necessary, it's possible to activate a high-pressure water flushing system behind the cutting wheel. After arriving on target at the reception, through the seal, the front steer is disconnected and lifted out of the shaft. If product pipes to be installed have the same outer diameter as the casings, 
Then the first product pipe is coupled to the casings in the launch shaft and jacked into place in the second step of the operation, like the clay pipes in this example. During this operation, the jacking force only has to overcome the skin friction. As the product pipes are jacked into place, the augers and casing are disconnected and lifted out. When the last casing reaches the reception shaft, the jacking procedure is completed.